You want to hear from a man that is looking for a commitment, who wants to share his life with somebody who is not just jumping from one relationship to the next. So he's honest. He would never use your truth and use it against you just to waste your time and his own time. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, please be careful who you're listening to. Who is the person giving you advice? Who are you taking advice from? Okay, this episode is going to be so important. Okay, for you ladies out there who, you know, you're having you talking to everybody you're probably complaining to people about how shitty and hard it is to find love and there's so many awful guys out there and oh my god i'm so over the online dating who are you talking to okay i i really need you to st- step back okay and think about those people you're talking to it's really important that when you are surrounding yourself with people um make sure you're talking to people and you know, because every time you're speaking and they're going to respond, right? Everyone has advice to give. Um, are they in a happy, healthy relationship that you would love to find something like that? Okay, this is this episode, okay, is so important because so many of us are just going through the motions and we're not realizing, oh my gosh, who we surround ourselves with and the information that we're getting from them is really, you know, getting in our heads, and painting that story that you're always going to keep telling yourself. So if you're saying to someone who's jaded, who is single and miserable, who has yet to find love and, you know, is a man hater and whatever their issue is, that's not going to serve you. That's not going to help you. That's only going to keep you in that same little hamster wheel of bullshit, right? And I need you to just take a step and say, okay, wait a second. Yeah, they are miserable. They aren't happy. And by the way, side note, I'm not saying you need a man to be happy, right? Um, but, But I feel like there's something here to be said. If a woman is single and happily single and she's a friend of yours, right? Um, and she's not jaded and she's had her experiences. She has yet not, she hasn't met her person yet. Right. Um, and she's, I bet you anything, she's not giving you shit advice. She's not giving you shitty advice. She's just saying, hey, you know what? Maybe she will tell you, wait, that place that you went to, that bar is full of douchebags. Or like, wait a second, you're going to that app and that app is all about whatever. Like she may very well have great advice. So like talk to someone. I'm not saying only talk to people that have some kind of loving life, loving relationship. But talk to people that are not jaded, that are not freaking hating, and they're not taking responsibility. At the end of the day, okay, I love it when you talk to people and they own their shit. They're like, oh yeah, like 100%, I have like made my own bed. I like freaking made my own mistakes and this is why I get stuck and I'm still getting I'm still messing around with my ex and like they'll tell you and they'll straight up tell you when you ask advice you say, oh I don't know what I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing don't listen to me like I I love when people are like really honest about that right I feel like you know the other day this was a crazy okay I went online I followed like different love coaches too because I feel like this is a great community we all have something that we want to help people find love so I'm all about it okay I'm not like, I'm the only love coach you should listen to. And that's so not what I'm about. Um, but there's this love coach. I'm not going to say names, but it's a guy. And um, I was following him and he went live. And I'm like, there's a lot of things that he says that I am like, I totally agree with some of the things, right? But, you know, all these women are on there on the live, right? like 80 women. And he starts saying how don't be, if you want to get married, if you want to have kids, don't tell the guy like, oh, if you have a plan, if you want to, you know, be 35 years old, married and have kids, don't tell him because you're basically telling him like the game plan to, you know, basically play you. Like that's what it was like. Don't be so honest because then now they know how to play you. And I was like, what? And the women are like, thank you so much for this advice. And I'm like, wait a second, what is happening? I just feel like I'm all about being open and honest and not being able to tell someone 
um, that you what you want your goals like your if you want to have children that should be right there the first hour you're chatting with someone that needs to be said and if he's scared it's bye bye time that's not your person and that's it he may not want the same things there's something wrong with him you know that's it like okay you want kids you want to have a family he doesn't okay fine bye if he doesn't know yet and he's trying to figure things out it's still bye bye i'm serious it's still bye bye i really feel like a guy will know you know what what he wants in his life if if you know a, a man will know what he wants in his life if he's kind of unsure don't wait around for him to change his mind to have kids you're not going to be the person to change his mind right but what this guy is saying is if you tell him that he's going to pretend like pretend like to share the same kind of goals that you have so he can play you. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, how can we operate in this world where we have to be so guarded and you feel like we have to fear that people are going to take our honesty and our truth and use it against us to play us? Who thinks like that? Like, who the hell thinks like that? And then I looked him up because I was like, what's his background? Like, is he happily married? No, he's in his 40s, still single, no kids, never been married. And I'm like, is he like a player, like giving advice to women? And that's why he's giving you the perspective of a player's like perspective. So women, if you want a guy and you want to have your happily ever after with someone, a partner to share your life with, why are you getting advice from a player? Like this is, this, that's what I don't get. If you want advice, if you want to find a person, like a man who is all about, and by the way, I'm not saying, oh, this guy, this player, you know, F him. No, I'm just saying he has lived his life, chosen his path. He's been single for whatever his reasons are, right? But I don't think you want to end up, you know, sharing your life with a guy that's jumped from one thing to the next and has never settled down, right? Like, I feel like you want someone that wants a commitment, that is able to have a commitment. And like, you know, I feel like there's those different people. These are different people. You know, there's people in the world that are all about like, I want to share my life with someone and they are into commitment and they love that and they're secure and they're securely attached. And you know, they're not out there just to jump from one thing to the next or hooking up with girls or playing girls, right? This guy, you know, I don't know him personally, but just looking at this and hearing his words, it feels like it's advice from a player, a player's perspective. And if you have, if your intention is to go out there and, oh, let me, you know, my plan is to marry a player <laughs> and go, by all means, go talk to him. But what I feel is like you don't want to marry a player. You don't want to, you know, hear what a player's thinking. You want to hear about the nice guys because, by the way, there's so many you know, and by the way, that guy, that player might be a nice guy. I don't know. But my point is you want to hear from a man that is looking for a commitment, who wants to share his life with somebody who is not just jumping from one relationship to the next. So he's honest. He would never use your truth and use it against you just to waste your time and his own time. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, please be careful who you're listening to. Who is the person giving you advice? Like you're here on this podcast and a lot of you already know, I've been happily married for 15 years to my best friend. I light up when I see him. He's in Miami right now on his business trip. We talk every single day. We FaceTime. He's talking to the kids. He is adorable. He's buying me all these little cute things. He's thinking of me and I'm thinking of him. He gets like, I feel like we're just so crazy in love. It's always been this way. It only keeps getting better. I'm not saying it to be a bragging bitch. I'm saying it because I feel that I have something that you want, where you're like, wait a second, I want to find my person. I want to find someone that like helps me shine brighter, right? This guy who's giving advice, who is he coming home to? Like, who, is he helping a woman shine brighter? 
Or is he just using people's truths and twisting them to take advantage of them and play them and do who knows what with them? No, it's like buying by time to the players. Like I'm not taking advice from that guy. Like I feel like, and it's what was even crazier. So many women were like, yes, thank you. Thank you. No, like don't lie. Don't be like, don't be so scared. You know, you can't go into the world with your guard up because you'll never be able to emotionally connect with anybody. So how are you going to find your person if you have this wall up? of fear. Oh, if I tell him that I really want kids, then he's going to play me and pretend that he wants the same thing. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. If you think like this, like that is exhausting. That's, that's, this is part of that bullshit matrix that we are like in this society, in this world, play the game. Don't scare them off or they can play you now if you're honest. Okay. You guys like this, I, I need to tell you that's freaking bullshit. Like we need to stop that. Okay. I need you to just take this advice to heart, okay? I want you to be really intentional and be freaking fearless. You put your heart on your sleeve. You tell them that you want a freaking kid. <laughs> you tell them. Tell them, I will, hey, I, um, you know, you, you might be in your 30s and you're like, tick, tick. I feel like I'm excited about meeting the love of my life. I'm excited to have that family. And if he says, Oh my God, that's crazy. Okay, bye-bye. That's it. If he says, oh yeah, like me too. Like I totally want that. And come on, women. You know, you've been through a lot. You have intuition. You know when a guy's bullshitting you, okay? You need to pay attention and don't sweep anything under the rug, right? Because if he says, oh my God, yeah. Like let's, let's just play this out from the player's perspective, right? Oh, you want kids? Like, yeah, I totally have the same dreams. Like, I want to, like, have kids. Oh, I like, oh, my God, how many? Oh, like, how many do you want? Like, <laughs> wait, wait if, he, if he starts to just, and you're like, oh, I, I, I want three. Oh, three is exactly what I would want. Like, <laughs> okay, clearly he is full of shit. Like, that sounds like a bullshitter right there, right? Also, the other thing is, when you're sharing with him about, like, you know, Oh yeah, you know, you want a family. You've always imagined yourself to be a mom. And oh, I, I, me too. Like I've totally imagined that. And then you could say, oh, like, oh, how, why, you know, like, why would you, what made you feel? What made you want to have a family? Like, what made you feel that? Oh, I don't know. Like, uh, like, <laughs> like if, if he doesn't have clarity, if he can't clearly explain to you, like, then it's bye-bye bullshitter time. <laughs> Do you see? Oh my God, I feel like you need to be in, like, listen. If you listen, the writing's always on the wall. If he says to you, oh, like, why did you want to be like a mom? Like, how do you know? <laughs> and I don't know why I have this voice for these players. <laughs> he, may, he may not sound like that. He may actually be a lot more suave. He might be like, he, he might be like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, totally. I, I always want to be a, a father for sure. Oh, what made you feel? Um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of did, you know, like, what made you want to be like, like, no, like, you need answers. It's like, it's like, oh, yeah, like, for real, like, what made you want it? Like, for real, like, oh, you know, my parents my family growing up I always had a big family I always imagined to be a dad my dad was the best dad like him sharing and telling you the truth about his life and his reasons you know he's not playing you know he's not playing you he's not bullshitting okay and this is what I feel like you have to trust yourself trust your intuition when you know your worth, when you know what you want, okay, you reflect on all the things that you've already tolerated, okay, give yourself some credit. Like this guy, this player guy that's giving advice out there and probably a whole bunch of other people giving shitty advice out there. It's like honor your journey. Like you've been through so much, okay, and I feel like use that. Like lean into that experience. You know, you're failing forward, Okay, you've, yes, your relationships have all failed, okay? <laughs> you're, you're listening to this podcast, you're probably single, wondering where's your person. And I'm here to tell you that as long as you reflect, right, on your past relationships and realize why did they fail? Where was the writing on the wall? Could I have figured it out sooner? 
may, was he a lying bastard? Uh, you can't be like, you know, there's so many women like, he lied. He lied. I didn't find out until years later. I'm like, come on. You got to own some of that shit. I'm serious. You have to own it. What could you have done to, found out, to find out sooner? Like, I want you to start owning your part in your story. Like, I want you to stop playing that victim card because you can't change those assholes and those guys that lied to you. Stop giving them all that power, okay? You are going to be a fearless, badass freaking woman. You are going to learn from your mistakes. You're going to move forward without a wall up. You're going to put your heart out there because you believe that you deserve love. Okay. You're like, you're like, this is a lot, Jackie. I can't do all those things. <laughs> like, but like, just please, I, I really want you to take this to heart. Okay. I know it's like 10 things I just said right there. There's a lot of things that I've said. Okay. But I need to be that voice that, that cuts through the bullshit that you are probably hearing day to day, day to day. Okay. That it's like, don't scare them away. Settle. Be careful. They're going to play you. There are no, you see all those bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I, I am here to tell you there is love. Love is the most important thing in the world. God wants you to find your person. The universe wants you to find your person. You are in your own way. Stop wasting time with that situation ship. That's not serving you. That guy who texts you and stop texting you. It's bye bye time. He doesn't give a shit. Bye. Don't waste. Don't waste your time. It's too valuable. Okay. We are, uh, you guys get stuck in this hamster wheel of bullshit. I was there for years. Okay. You know, and it's sad because you're going to stay there for probably a lot longer and, and waste more years, you know, wait, waste more time until you hit rock bottom, you know? Um, and I don't know what that looks like for you. I know what my rock bottom looked like, and it was just like one too many breakups, one too many years of my life wasted and invested in the wrong men. And you get to a point of like, what the hell? Like you're just so beyond over it. So as you're listening to this, you might be like, well, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> you're like, I'm still kind of talking to this guy that could very well be playing me. <laughs> you're like, but I'm okay there. You, <laughs> I want to spare you some years. I really hope you take my advice. I really hope that you're not taking advice from the players and the bullshitters and the, the people that want you to have your walls up because it's only going to prevent you from finding your person. Okay. So please, um, live your life with intention, put yourself out there fearlessly. Um, you know, God is all about love. Love is waiting for you. And, um, you know, I found it. I'm so blessed. I know that it's there for you too. Um, and that's my purpose for doing this podcast is to help you remember, right? That love, that's the most important thing. And you deserve it like real love. Okay. The world isn't out to get you. <laughs> There's really great, amazing men out there, but you're going to keep missing them. The more you keep talking to the bullshitters and the players and the situationships and, and the longer you hide what you really want in your life. Okay. So don't hide, be proud of what you want. Like I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you and what you want and your real desires, you know, and, and, and like tell them, tell whoever it is that you meet, you know, and like the right person is going to be like, oh my gosh, I, that's exactly what I want. And they're not going to be bullshitting you and they'll be playing you. Okay. <sighs> okay. That was good. I feel really good. I got that off my chest. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a lot of haters from this episode. I don't give a shit because I am serving those freaking badass women that needed to hear this, that needed to hear this. Okay. So all the players out there, I know you're going to be trolling my ass and I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Bring it. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Go out there and freaking find that crazy love because it has to be crazy love or nothing. <laughs>